You have expressed how you feel fine with the Guantanamo Bay, a law-breaking American prison used to torture prisoners of war through illegal techniques such as deliberate starvation, dehydration, along with rape. Mr. Trump, can you elaborate on why you are fine with this? You know, I love America. America's great. Terrorists, terrible. We need to beat them. America's weak. We can't be weak. We are the wimpies of the world. We can't be girly. America will be manly. It will be gritty. Beautiful. I love Muslims. They give me lots and lots of money. I'll beat the, you know what, words of politically correct media don't like. I'll make America great again. They are not entering our country no more. The closing of Guantanamo Bay could result in the termination to one of the many of America's unethical practices. It would grant the opportunity to end years of unfair treatment and torture inflicted upon the lives of those being held here. We need a foreign policy based on international law, human rights and diplomacy, instead of militarism. Our current foreign policy has been an outright incredible disaster. Drones and torture have especially been damaging. Close the Guantanamo Bay will not help us. We won't make no money from this. Take the practices and use them. I bring a hell of a lot worse than that. Don't tell me it doesn't work. Torture works. I do whatever the hell I want. I have lots of money. More money than you. We have to beat some savages. We'll be strong. We'll do whatever it takes to protect and defend this great nation. Inhumane, unethical, and violates the Eighth Amendment. Your money can't possibly improve the amount of sleep deprivation, food and water denial, sexual humiliation, and solitary confinement that can be found at Guantanamo Bay. Humane interrogation is shown to be highly successful. Disclosure is 14 times more likely to occur early in an interrogation when humane Your tactics humane. are used. Mr. Trump, former Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders underwent intense scrutiny about the fundings of free public college. Countries including Germany, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Luxembourg, and Denmark offer tuition-free college. Yet what models may allow for America to achieve a similar service without economic consequences? Every American rich. America won't need free college. They'll be so rich, they won't need education. You'll be so rich, we will win. We will make more money than China. China, seriously? We are going to build a wall and keep the poor Mexicans out. There will be so many jobs for Americans. It will be great. Trump University is a scam and a disgrace to this already great nation. But in terms of a plan, first, the billionaires have so much money, only 39% tax rate. I'll raise that to 70% so they'll pay their fair share in the country that they ruined. As well, I'll have Congress authorize funding for free college because we have so much of our budget, $569 billion spent on military. And I'll redistribute some of that money so these Americans can get a free college education and be able to prosper as part of this wonderful nation. More money than you've ever seen. I know money. I am money. I'm rich and you're poor. I'll make every American rich. You won't. Free college is fat. It's a mess. Scary Stein, your ideas are un-American. We need jobs. Students don't work. We give them work. Make America great again. Well, I like to point out that students actually do work. In fact, 80% of all financial aid packages have students working for around 10 hours a day. And that's a significant amount of time because you're balancing 10 hours a day for schoolwork. So yes, Americans do work, Trump, as well. Pre-college will give more jobs to America and will make America more educated so we'll even be a better nation than your so-called Make America Great Again. Mr. Trump, recently you have committed a stance towards purity funding of Planned Parenthood unless the organization discontinues abortion services. Yet critics argue that defunding Planned Parenthood at all is a bad move for women's health issues. An organization that provides essential services that involve, include flu vaccinations, diabetes, and cholesterol screenings cancer screenings for the prostate, breast, plus other significant iterations of cancer. As a president, who will be really good for women? What will they get out of, you, of UD funding Planned Parenthood? I love women, especially the ladies. I'm cutting their taxes. None of our hand earned money for killing Hillary's. I'm not gonna say it, we're gonna win. Hey ladies, I will make you money. You'll win, I love you all. Not saying anything wrong with men, I'm going to help you cuties be rich. I love kids. I will protect them. I will make abortions illegal again. Planned Parenthood is seeing none of our money if they're doing these slaughters. For many years and still today, our government denied all Americans from being tre treated equally under law. This includes Jim Crow voting laws for, and many other inequalities that our fellow Americans fought long and hard against. Tonight, I would like to point out that Planned Parenthood is a medical provider and the government should have no right to break 
into the sacred confidentiality of what happens between the patient and doctor. That right, which the Fifth Amendment should apply for all women as well. Abortion kills lives. All lives matter. America is with lots, lots of people alive. We need to. We need workers to make our factories great again. We will be rich. They will have money and be healthy. All of you will get great jobs, beautiful jobs. I'm sure all of you will smile like this. Doctors don't won't do illegal stuff with me. I will lay down the matter and all Americans who don't love America. I would like to point out that Planned Parenthood provides all women with reproductive health care and family planning. We can greatly reduce the need for abortion, giving women real choices for education opportunities and good paying jobs will also reduce in unintended pregnancies. Abortion is a necessary health care option, but will decline as women's choices expand upstream of unwanted pregnancy.